everybody, Mark here from Little Robot Friends, and today I'm going to show you how to play with your new Little Robot Friend. But first, let's learn a little bit about the robots before we get started. So here is our Little Robot Friends box. Let's take a look inside. Here you're going to see the robot face. Down here is the robot's base. And here are the robot rules. Now it's very important that before you play, you take a look at these robot rules. Read them over. Pause the video right now and take a look because it's really important to know these before we start playing. Okay? You done? Great. Now, let's also look inside our little robot friend's box. And if you lift out the green part, you'll see some stickers. Now these are for decorating up your robot and creating your custom character. And we also have a USB cable. And this is for charging your robot's battery and programming your robot. This is going to be more important later, but right now I'm just going to put these things back. Now your robot is comprised of two parts, the face and the base. We're going to start by talking about the base. It's made out of clear plastic, so you can see all the parts inside. And you can see different things, like here's the Wi-Fi chip. So that's for talking to other robots in the internet. Underneath the Wi-Fi chip are the other components that make the robot work. Um, up here is our connector for our face. We're going to see that in a second. On the bottom, you'll see a uh, rechargeable battery. You can see that right through. And uh, on the back, there's two very important things. Now this one here, this is the USB port. So this is for plugging your robot into a computer to charge it um, and for programming it. That's where all the cool stuff happens. And over here is the power switch. This allows you to turn your robot on and off at will. And remember, to keep turn it off if you're not playing with it to save some battery. Now let's check out the lights of the robot. So I'm going to turn it over like this. And I'm going to charge it because my robot just came out of the box. It might not have enough power. So I'm going to charge it to get started. So I'm just going to take my USB cable that I got from the box and plug it in, and you'll see a red light goes on. Now the red light means that your robot is charging. And when your robot is done charging, the red light will turn off. Now there's the other thing. So I'm going to just unplug this for a second. Now when I turn on the switch, you'll see a green light. That means that your robot is on. Turn the switch off, and your robot turns off. Now, unfortunately, we can't hear or see anything. Like, how do I know my robot is on? We should plug in the face to find out. So, plugging in the robot's face can be a little difficult the first time. So, this is what we recommend. Place the base down on a hard surface like a table. Take your robot face and line it up in the right spot. Here we go. And then you can just press down. Now that the face is attached to the base, we can turn our robot back on. So just flip the power switch in the back, and you'll hear the robot startup sound. All right, that means your robot is ready to go. So let's learn about your robot's inputs and outputs. Let's start with the outputs. Now your robot has two LED eyes. Now these are special LEDs called RGB LEDs. That means that each LED has three different LEDs inside, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. And those LEDs can combine to make different colors. So for example, we can have green, but we can also make pink. Or we can also make, give it a shake, blue, all sorts of fun colors. Now in addition to lights, your robot can also make sounds. That's because its mouth is a quarter watt speaker. But be careful. Don't press on the speaker too hard because sometimes that can crush your speaker and it'll start to make, it won't be as loud and it'll make some funny noises. All right, now let's check out the robot's inputs or sensors. They're called sensors because they sense the physical world and translate it into something that the robots can understand. Now each robot has a bunch of sensors. We're going to go through each one. The first three that you're going to notice are the touch sensors, and those are the shiny silver parts, one on the hair and one for each hand. Now, when you touch those sensors, your robot will respond. But there's multiple ways that you can interact with the robot through the touch sensors. First, 
There's the tap. That's a single touch. You can do a single touch on the hair or on the hands. Depends. It'll react the same way. But if you do multiple touches like this, it reacts differently. That's because multiple touches is called a tickle. Finally, there's the hug. So if you do any type of long touch on either the hands or the hair, you'll get that reaction. Now in our app, you can customize how the hands, the hair react in all sorts of situations, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's check out the other sensors on the face. Now right here is a microphone. Now it's not like the microphone on your phone or your computer. It can't understand what you're saying, but it can detect loud noises and patterns in noises. So for example, you can sneak up behind your robot and go, <laughs> and it responds. Now on the other side is a light sensor. That tells your robot when it's dark, bright, or just a normal light level. One cool way you can play with it is you put it down, cup your hands over its eyes, it makes a noise because it's scared of the dark, and then you remove your hands, and it responds again. Cup, remove. It's like playing peekaboo with your robot. Now those are all the sensors on the face, but there's more sensors in the base. The main one is the accelerometer or motion sensor. That detects X, Y, and Z movement. So that means your robot can detect shakes. And when you lie it down, like right now, when it lies down, it goes to sleep. You can easily wake your robot back up by turning it up. Now also in the base is an infrared transceiver. That means it can use infrared light to send and receive information. And that's how your robots talk to each other. Check this out. Take two robots, put them face to face, and give one a hug. You see how they both respond? Do it again. Now you can also make your robots sing together using the IR chat by giving one robot a big hug. Now a big hug is when you hug both sides together like this. Put them in front of each other and all of a sudden they're singing together. Now your robots can also talk to each other using Wi-Fi with a feature we call party mode. But more about that in another video. For now, you probably want to get to customizing your robot. So check out some of our other videos on how to write your own code, how to customize your expressions, and make costumes for your robot to make it a one of a kind. Thanks for watching.